So we have here a 1991 Mazda RX-7 GTO car. So that ran in IMSA's heyday of the GTO class uh, with a bunch of big horsepower cars. This is a four rotor, 700 horsepower engine, um, incredible piece of machinery. So the history on the car, uh, it originally ran by uh, Homer in um, 91 and it won five races. Uh, in that championship on the way to actually the manufacturer and driver championship that year. So it is a winning car, which is really cool. Um, it won at a, a couple street circuits and uh, um, some of the uh, permanent road courses. And uh, then Mazda took the car and it was part of their heritage collection at the uh, famed Mazda garage and run um, for many years there. And recently, uh, Fliss Performance took the car and uh, completely stripped it, uh, refreshed everything, all the lines, the, the fuel cell, all the, all the bits, put it back together and here we are at our first event uh, at Daytona. The driving experience is incredible. I mean, it, it puts you back in the seat with all that horsepower, that rotary engine. Um, it sounds incredible. I mean, just flipping through the gears, uh, because of that Hewland uh, gearbox, you don't even need to use the clutch on the upshift, so you're on power at all times. Just flick through the gears on the downshifts, um, the handling is incredible. It has huge tires on it, so you have a lot of grip, a lot of grip, uh, not only in cornering, but acceleration. And um, it, overall, it's, uh, it's, it's really rewarding to drive because it's lightweight, it's nimble, and, uh, and it's got all the power you need. So on the banking, it's incredible because you have a five-speed gearbox. You're actually topping out in fifth and probably could re-gear it specifically for Daytona, but it is on the rev limiter at 8,800 RPM as it's coming off of uh, Daytona Speedway 4. And man, it's just hitting off the rev limit chip all the way down. It's, uh, it's, it's exhilarating. Uh, I had a chance to run something similar to this uh, through my career, the Mazda RX-8 uh, here at Daytona and running the Rolex 24-hour. Um, some podium finishes with that. So it's funny how this car really reminds me of that in, in many ways, the driving experience and the sounds. Um, and then uh, kept working the way up and uh, had the opportunity to run uh, at Mazda's peak level at the, uh, the prototype uh, DPI level at IMSA competition for a few years, which um, is kind of the ultimate uh, sports car class. And um, it's just been fun to uh, carry on the uh, tradition and uh, still working with Mazda in the Mazda MX-5 Cup Series. Yeah, I think certainly, you know, the influence of this car helped, helped Mazda Motorsports just because Mazda's DNA is racing, right? So everything they do um, is based around racing. The Mazda MX-5 is the first example. I mean, that car has been raced ever since its inception in 1990, and it still is to this day. Um, I think, you know, we've seen iterations of other Mazdas be, be raced in the GT level. We had the Mazda 6 in a, in a diesel platform for a few years, and, um, and it, it still continues. And I certainly hope it continues as, um, as the, the years progress into its next uh, phase. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And to see more stories like this, visit us online at ClassicMotorsports.com.